Hey everyone, I'm Rodel Flor de Liz of NongNoginacity.com and welcome to The Feed. <laughs> Today on The Feed, travel blogger slash entrepreneur Kenneth Surat will do the very first Feed takeover by showing us a simple DIY you can recreate. Also, we'll get to know the man behind the Surat Journal. I'm Kenneth Surat, I'm a travel blogger and I'm a creator of Surat Journal and I'll be doing the Feed takeover for today. I'm going to demonstrate a DIY of how to make a Surat Journal or a leather bound journal. We need a fork, we need paper, we need a piece of leather which will be our cover using a wax thread. So let's start. So first, we need to um, put some holes where you will put the paper. So I'm punching some holes in the leather. So I normally use this because equal yung spacing and it's easier. We have our thread. Kailangan nating i-measure ngayon. Etong size na to is enough for the whole journal. Isang dipa, kung baga. Put on the thread. Doing a bit of a knot. So I didn't really study how to make this. Poor trial and error. Then I found the effective way for this na, on how to stitch it. Do this. Tapos, to lock it, yung eye from the thread na binuhol mo kanina, dun mo siya ilalagyan. Tapos yun na, tahihin mo na yung each page on the letter. Also, maybe you're wondering why ito may black. Because yung kind of leather that I'm using, it's called um, saddle leather. So, may oil siya. So, sometimes nag siya with the paper. So, I use this for protection. Pero, I like this kind of leather kasi it aged perfectly. Para habang tumatagal, gumaganda siya lalo. So, first stitching, pwedeng straight lang siya eh. Ganyan. Pero, what I normally do is ginagawa ko siyang X like this one. Para lang aesthetic. Medyo... Mas maganda sa tignan. Okay. And after that, I'm tying it again here. For, for it to be secure. Tapos, once you got this na, like the full X, you'll repeat the whole step to attach the other two. So, let's do that! Okay, we're done with the stitching of the paper. Now, we need something to secure it. So, I normally use another leather piece. Ang tawag dito ay leather ties. So, it's also leather. And um, this will help securing your travel journals. I punched three holes on the um, leather flap. Tapos, parang tatahiin din natin siya. So, First, we'll put the end of the tie at the back, third hole. And on the tie, meron kang butas din. You put this hole also. Tapos, i-secure natin siya. So, put it, uh, so, pasok natin sa second hole. So, may pang tusok ako dito for me to easy, eh, para easier yung ano, yung pagpapasok niya sa leather na butas. Pero, pwede yun naman hindi, hindi gumamit niyan. I just use it to make things easier. So last, secure na siya because of that. Lalabas na lang natin. And we're done. Tie it here, like this. So yung pagtatay niya, walang rules. So just tie it however you want it to be tied. So, hope you guys learned something here in the DIY for today. So, again, this is a travel journal that you can bring anywhere when you travel. Ganyan, or it's like a diary where you can write anything, whatever you want. So, you can check um, more stuff from Surat Journals through our Instagram at Surat Journals. And also, you can follow my travels and 
anything actually that I've been doing in my Instagram as well at Kenneth Surat or in my blog at www.kennethsurat.com. That's the end of our um, the feed takeover and back to your adapt. Hey guys, as promised, kasama na natin ngayon ang travel vlogger slash entrepreneur Kenneth Surat. Hi Kenneth! Hello, hi, hi everyone. You know what? We've been friends for, for just a few months, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I know that you're a travel blogger, but I really doesn't know yung history about it. How, how did you start it to be as a blogger? How do you say how long it takes? Because now, I'm not sure how long it takes. Because it's like it started as a friendster, you share your travel okay. stories. So, I just started to write it and then multiply. But what I can say is that yung, yung I focus more on the blog that I focus on in 2012. Like na, vlog and V. Oh, blog, ane, blog, blog, blog. Talaga. Like, okay. right, right na So blog. That, that was the time na bumili ka na sa sarili mo. Domain. Ano, domain I'm serious na I research uh -oh. about it. Pero before that, I always share. Alam yung parang may mga hugot type of sharing. Uh -oh. Parang ganyan. So it's, it's social parang media. before, before it's, it's a more personal Yeah, it's blog. like a passion. You, uh -oh. I, I started actually na fashion pa. Parang Fashion blog. Fashion wow. blog. Fashion okay. blog. Pero it ended up because um, I fell in love with traveling. So okay. it ended up sharing more travels than fashion. That's ngayon talaga ng travel nila. So it's not really that hindi siya yung tipong, ah, I want to create a travel no, blog. No, 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 no. So parang it's a transition from yeah, a fashion blog. I never really even think na, ano, na it will become something that I'll do almost full time. Because right now I'm doing it almost full time. And wow. I'm enjoying it. So this started when you were in Dubai. 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 Okay. So how difficult is it to create a blog in or be a, be a Dubai based blogger? Um, during our time, it's not really difficult because I mean, yeah, I said it's just a passion. So as long as you have your internet, it's all right. The only thing na medyo um, challenge there is you cannot really there's always a filter din naman in Dubai because it's a Muslim country. Okay, okay. It's very... Um, so not everything that you see can be shared oh. online. The good thing about it, when we were starting, hindi siya ganun kabigas in the Philippines. Uh -huh. So that's why a lot of... Kasi tayo in the Philippines, almost everyone writes. Everyone has their social media, blogging, ganyan. In Dubai, before, wala gana. And most of us are Filipinos who started it. So until now, the parang mga pioneer travel bloggers in to buy our Filipinos uh -huh, uh -huh. as well. So. Ah, okay. Oh. So, uh, hindi rin ganun karami mga bloggers oh. na Before. local ng Dubai. Before, now there's a lot. Ah, okay. Pero during okay. the time that we started, say 2010, 2012. How, uh, how yeah. many years have you been lived, in, Dubai? Uh, Ten. in Dubai? Ten years. Yeah, 10 years. So, I'm guessing that you know Arabic? Is that the language? No, What's actually, the language no. in Dubai? I'm Arabic, pero that's the thing na medyo um, Paano ba? Yung regret. Uh -huh. Because I didn't learn any Arabic. Parang, Gosh, I know, the opportunity. <laughs> well, we have the opportunity eh. Kaya lang, the thing is, in Dubai, um, it's the other way around. It's the Arabs who are forced to learn English, not the, not us forced to learn Arab. So, hindi kami talaga na-open to the possibility that we'll learn the language. So, ah, okay. So, hindi rin kayo na-require sa no, work not, mo? Yeah. Oh, more, what? parang it's because I'm working with a French company, so uh -huh. more of we need French more. And you are doing um, interior what's, what's decoration. Wow, interior decoration. Yeah. So yeah. in the in Dubai, so we do a lot. So ibig sabihin inaral mo talaga yung, because I know the architectural structure of Dubai oh. is really different from Philippines. Yeah, very different. Actually. So you you studied it first before you. No, um, I learned it there actually. Oh, so that's good. I got two two companies in Dubai. One is Arab, mm -hmm. and the next one is French. But in Arab. Um, dun ko siya nakita yung different aesthetics in the Philippines. The Philippines kasi more of tropical. They're hindi medyo lavish. They have a lot of gold, they have a lot of wood, shiny things. And then, when I changed work, naging French company naman. So, another different, ano? Aesthetics. Different aesthetics na naman siya. More of medyo sophisticada, ganyan. So, so, currently, how many countries na have you visited? Um, right now, 36. 36? So which one is your most favorite among, um, among the 36 countries? I can think of two places, pero yung lahi kong sinasabi, it's always Norway, uh -huh. and then next, Iceland, both Scandinavia. And that's I nice. love, I love Scandinavia. Like how many times have you been there? Um, 
Norway, I've been there twice. Okay. Iceland was and I want to be there. Pero I stayed for a month. Kaya, so you, you so, did that when you were still working in no, Dubai? No, I did that. Well, Norway, I went there when I was still working. And also, I went back after na, when I left. And Iceland when I left. Because I was thinking, it's much cheaper. It's much cheaper coming from Dubai, True. going to this kind of uh, True, countries. Compared that yeah, you're, you're coming the, from the Philippines. In the middle already. Uh -huh. So, pero funny thing. Yeah, um, when I was in Dubai, so Norway, so easy lang siya eh, kasi uh -huh. one flight lang. But when I was in, when I, uh, yung nag-visit ako ng Iceland, I was coming from Australia. So, dulo-dulo. So, dulo kaya amin. Pero so, I, I thought, I need to go. Uh, okay, want. okay. So, you said a while ago that uh, you're doing blogging partially full-time. So aside from blogging right now, ano pang pinagkakabalan? Um, and also, I'm also an entrepreneur. So uh -huh. I do um, leather craft. Okay. Which this is, one. Yeah, yeah, this one. Andito na siya. Sa, sa ano, na mesa. Yeah. So I'm doing leather craft. So mm -hmm. I started with a leather journal. And then now I'm doing leather wallets as well. So um, laptop sleeves. Mm -hmm. And yeah, basta leather craft. So, so how big is your company right now? Like you have employees? Well, <laughs> I'm doing it by myself. Ah, okay. So this so, is everything. Yeah. Everything is handcrafted. Yeah. So and from scratch, from scratch. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I visited your Instagram mm -hmm. account recently. Your feed, actually. So I, I'm going to show so you. Oh, nag hearts ako, nag like ako, nag comment ako. Tapos sabi ko, kuya palo ba? Oh. <laughs> and then, um, I, I, I I pick up three of your photos. Okay, so okay. just tell so me what can you say about the photos? We'll be flashing it on the screen. I'm gonna show you now. Okay, this is not the photo. Iba yan. Okay, um, tell me more about this photo that you. Captured. Okay, this one is in Iceland. I told you a while ago that one of my favorite places that I've been to is Iceland. So this one, um, we were doing the ring road. Uh -huh. Ring road meaning we're driving around the whole island. So, ito yung almost one of the last stops we had sa bandang north na siya of Iceland. So, what's this? Is this, is this a hot spring? Yeah, hot, hot spring. Kaya siya mainit. Uh -oh. So, okay. um, sulfur It's water a natural, natural hot one. spring. Wow. So, they have okay. two. Eh. They have one which is the Blue Lagoon, yung famous one. This one is up north. Um, ito mas natural. There's always a debate oh, nice. which one is better. So okay. we chose this one. Like it's super hot. Like hot, ilang degrees? Very hot. Um, it can go 40 actually. 40 degrees? 40 degrees. Okay, not bad. So we can choose. Parang there are certain pools na uh -huh. different temperature. Okay, next photo we have here. Wow! Ito, Ito yung OOTD days mo. Okay, so yeah. Kamataan <laughs> days. This one, um, Venice. So Venice. I went to Venice. Naka-popper hat ka pa. Panahon ng ano, Ves. Ayan, so parang I really planned um, OOTD. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing about this one, na pero na interesting, is um, kasi ano to eh, parang leg siya uh -huh. ng trip eh. So I went to Paris, then Italy. Ay, Paris, Spain, and Italy. So, may plano akong OOTD niya. Pero my luggage got ano, Lost? delayed. Okay, Lost. delayed. Delayed siya. Tapos, in Paris, I was forced to shop some clothes. So, ayan siya. Nice. Okay, last photo. Ah, Dubai. Ito, you know, I've been du I've been in Dubai for once lang, but I've never seen this kind of uh, clouds. Ano to? Um, like or yung nakita on my feet before mm -hmm. when I was in Dubai, but na, na, na experience ko lang siya when I left already. So this was a visit after I left. So sakto, it was the season where nagpa fog na siya. So ano yan, ang funny thing dito, hindi, hindi funny, interesting thing dito, gabi pa lang, we're planning it already. Okay. Parang, ah, there's the, meron daw ano, um, fog warning during this time. So it means in the morning, meron tayo yung sea of clouds. So, okay. yearly phenomena, we call it phenomena siya. So if you're, uh, mga Instagrammers there, talagang they're doing Pini -prepared uh, talaga fog hunting ang tawag dyan. Okay. What was your most memorable or yung masasabi natin uh, very unique experience that you had in all your travels? Um, okay, so of course, there's a lot. There's one thing I can say na very unique and memorable. Isa, share ko na rin kasi kasama yung involved okay. yung journal. Eh. So, I think this is the best one to share. Um, Iceland, on my recent trip to Iceland. So, we're doing the ring road, which is we're driving around the island. Uh -huh. Alam mo yun, yung menu, ano yun, 
do a road trip, tapos magpicture ka sa daan. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. So ang Iceland scenario, um, roads, 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 wala talaga siyang building. Iceland is not really pure ice. No, not pure <laughs> ice. Okay. Iba-iba siya uh-huh. na. May waterfalls, iba-iba. So, the road talagang nothing, just road. Uh-huh. Tapos, um, may trees ba? Vacant lot, vacant. Okay, Hindi okay. mga trees, pero as in lot, lot, yeah. road. Tapos, we're doing um, photos sa road. Tapos, I do it, um, meron kasi akong account, follow also the Traveling Journal Project, where I post um, photos of the journal. Tapos, ano yun? In different para, places. In different places. Okay, okay. And then you're doing this, can you uh. take a photo? So, we did that, gitna, middle of the road, and then I placed it um, on top of the car. Okay. So, driving, 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 we're driving na mga hours na. Mga siguro, two hours of driving. Two hours of driving, went to another spot, which is one of the touristy spots in Iceland. So, I was looking for the journal. Wala. Sabi ko, asa yung journal ko? Okay. So, nagpapanik ako, asa ilalim ba siya ng kotse, whatever. Then, we realized na I didn't put it back in the car. Iniwan mo lang sa iba. Iniwan mo lang sa iba. Wow. Okay. Buti. Ito, sobra kaya siya, very interesting. I was traveling with a Ukrainian. Where, na, na-meet ko siya in the hostel. Tapos, he was forcing. So, how important is the journal? Um, it's my... Um, parang my travels for two years. It yeah, was, yeah, it's yeah. there, written on it. So, uh-huh. let's find it. So, two hours away. Ang ginawa namin clue. Ano ba yan? Kasi ang clue namin, may photos. So, di ba nag-picture kami? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, meron so, kayong... Let's match the mountain. Ano yung view ng mountain? Okay. So, we drove so parang may scavenger hunt. True, sure, yeah. Scavenger <laughs> hunt. Drove. Wala kami kasing landmark. Eh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Drove back hours ulit. Matching the photo mountain. Photo mountain. Tapos, we found it on the side of the road. Parang, this is nice. So, sobrang saya. I mean, it's, yeah, it's nothing it's, very big, pero, ano yun, parang, the, the odd of us finding it again. Yeah, parang you create an adventure on an adventure. Yes. Diba? Adventure. That's nice. Yeah, I'll share to Rodel yung picture niya. May picture niya na sobrang <laughs> ano. Talaga ba? Parang kasi nasagasa, Kung ano na itsura nung ano. na siya. May kita mo, poro gasga. Kasi it fell on the road. Oo. Tapos roll roll na lang siya eventually. Nasa ano siya, side road na siya. That's nice. Thank you very much for sharing that very wonderful fun. memories yeah, that you I got. I promise I'll vlog nice it. Life. I'll vlog it. Talaga ba? Hindi mo binablog? Two, Two years, years na <laughs> Anyway, before we wrap things up, uh, we'll be doing a, a okay. challenge. This is a two-minute uh, challenge. We have here uh, 100 questions. Uh, simple question lang naman siya. It's a slam book question. So, we'll be doing a two-minute challenge. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Answer as much, as many as you can in two minutes. Okay. So, quick, quick, ganyan, dahil ganyan. ano tayo, mano-mano tayo for today. Magta-timer ako na two minutes. Pwede mag-pass? Pass, 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 pass. Bakit kailangan mag-pass? Para madami. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, buksan na natin. So, two minutes tayo ha. Oh, oh God. Okay, wait. Mabawasan. Baka matanggal yung iniiwasan mong question, what is love? <laughs> so, okay. So, let's, let's start the two-minute challenge. In three, two, one, go. Okay. First is, if you could be the world leader you want to be, who would you be? <laughs> world leader. World history. <laughs> world history. Duterte. Hala, pwede ang pass. Oh, sige, pass. Pwede ang politika. Oh, sige. Mahirap. Mahirap magsagot. Ah, uh, what is your favorite vacation spot? Norway. 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 What is your favorite activity? Uh, traveling. Okay. Sleeping on. That's three. Okay. If you could meet one person, dead or alive, who would it be? Um, my dad. Okay. Okay, favorite sports? Um, do you even sports? Do you have? Uh, do you even have sports? That is badminton. Okay, badminton. One minute. You got one, two, three, four. Okay. Five. What is your deepest deepest fear? Frogs. Really? Gosh, if you can be invisible, tell me the first thing you do. Secret. <laughs> oh my God. Secret. <laughs> 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 
What is your favorite food? Uh, Sinigang. Okay. Last 30 seconds. Describe your daily routine. Um, Ah, look, 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 look. Eh, ano ba? Magulo eh, wala, wala talaga. Okay, walang daily routine. Magulo talaga. Um, if you are an author, what book would you write? Game of Thrones! Wow, ang talino ah. Well, <laughs> okay, last four what's seconds. What's the best advice you Three, can give? Three, two, one. Okay, answer that. Ay, hindi nagkala ko pa ng pa. Last question. <laughs> um, what's the best advice you've been given? Or been given. You've been given or been given. You've given or you've been given. Given na lang. Parang okay. I've been given. Uh, respect people. There you go. You got how many for two minutes? May One, two, three. Ako. May two pa sa tap. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Minus two. two that's nine. nine. So I'm gonna put that in our board. <laughs> so shall we? This is uh, the first one. So it's our number one for today. <laughs> you got nine and two minutes. Okay, thank you very much, Kenneth. Thank Please do promote much. if you're going to do follow. Yes. Promote your yes. letter, promote your yes. blog. Uh, follow my blog at www.kennethsworth.com. I also do YouTube. I blog as well. So it's in YouTube. Just look for it, Kenneth Surah. And also follow my Surah Journals at Surah Journals in Instagram. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed watching our episode for today. Do tell me who do you want to be featured next in the show by commenting on our social media pages. Do not forget as well to follow me on my social media accounts. That's at Rodel Fordelis on Instagram and Twitter. And of course, do not forget to visit my blog site. That's www.nogdogindacity.com. Until next time, guys, this is Rodel Fordelis. And remember, the world is too small for big talents. See them here at the feast.